My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. Only 115 miles since the body was removed from the frame and this car was restored from the bottom up. Gorgeous factory colors, onyx black with the red and black interior, 283 automatic, factory power steering and power brake car. This is a really desirable, very nice 57 Chevy Bel Air. If you go to volocars.com, that's where you can read all the specs, study the pictures, and get the price. Not only on this one, but we do have a few hundred collector cars all for sale. Visit volocars.com. If you enjoy watching the videos, subscribe to the YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, and you'll be notified as the new ones are posted. Right now, join me. Let's go for a spin in a 57 Bel Air. Who doesn't know what a 57 Bel Air looks like? This is got to be the most popular collector car of all times. Uh, everyone's got a story to share with the 57 Chevy and that's what makes them so popular today. Uh, so like I said, this is a nut and bolt frame off restoration. It's actually restored to original condition except for the wheels. Uh, the wheels look real nice that are on there. Uh, if you preferred the original look, it's about two grand. You can have a brand new set of uh, rims with the hubcaps and the white wall tires to make it stock. Uh, but getting back to the underneath, it's all metal, all clean, restored metal, and it was painted with the red oxide primer just like they did at the factory. Uh, the chassis was all stripped down, taken apart, painted black. That's a nice semi-gloss black, and everything attached to it was rebuilt. The whole front end is rebuilt, has polyurethane bushings, uh, all the components up there, the steering, the suspension, that's all new. So it's got new shocks. Fuel system's all new. The, the tank is new. The straps and insulators that hold it in place are new. The sending unit. The exhaust system, it's a dual exhaust. It's new. The mufflers are polished stainless steel. They're like a mirror. Uh, the bottom of the motor is still super clean. It's Chevy orange, smooth and glossy. Uh, it has the correct screw-in canister type oil filter that they would have had on the old 283. Uh, starter looks new. The Power Glide transmission is original. It's dated uh, correct for this car. Um, I was told both of those have been rebuilt. They seem to work fine and they're perfectly clean looking. In back, the rear end also, you can tell was a part and detailed. Uh, according to the code that's on there, it's a real 336 Posi rear end that's in this car. So underneath is very exceptional. The body is amazing. I mean, really, it's, it's like a mirror. I, I'm telling you, if I had a newspaper, I could read it in the reflection, and it's everywhere. I looked across the tops and down both sides. It is laser beam straight. Paint is polished out like black glass. Right here, there's a spot uh, smaller than my thumb, but it was brush touch. Something happened right there. The paint got chipped or something, and they, they brushed it in. Being black, it doesn't jump out at you. Uh, it has the rear antenna. That's kind of sporty. That looks new. All the chrome trim and stainless is new or restored. I mean, this whole panel right here, all the moldings, the rocker trim, the handles, all of this trim, all around all the glass, the vent window pillar, the mirror, all of this. The bases around the wipers, the rockets, everything up front here has all been replaced. The gold anodized grill and the V, the uh, emblems, the lenses, uh, the rubber Dagmar tips here, uh, headlight bezels, all that's been replaced. The glass looks like it's all new. I rolled up each window except the rear window. Rear window is fine. That's why they left it. It does have some, some light marks on it, so I know it's not new, but all the side glass looks crystal clear. The door jams are painted real nicely, nice smooth black. Uh, the weather strips and sill plates have been replaced. 
Look at that red interior just pop. I love the red against the black. And this car was born uh, Onyx Black. It did have a white roof originally, so I painted the whole car black. And it was born with a red interior. Uh, this is according to the codes on the uh, tag. There is also a hairline crack right down here behind the bumper that no one will see, uh, but I need to point it out to you. I lifted the mat. It's just as glossy under here. I mean, this metal is beautiful, painted gloss black. It's all real nice. They got a new mat, new sticker. The latches look new. Uh, the whole antenna assembly that comes down inside the car looks new. I can see behind the seat. The seat springs are painted. It has new burlap. I don't know if I mentioned the weather strip. It has anodized bolts. <clears throat> From carpet to headliner, it's been redone. As the correct carpeting, the seats, I was saying they've been rebuilt. You sit on them, just feeling them right here. They feel new. They're nice and firm and tight. Uh, I love this upholstery. I love the pattern. I love the chrome buttons, the piping, and the door panels match. It's all been replaced. The engine, it's a 283 motor. Everything in here is restored to stock, but it does have an upgraded Edelbrock four-barrel uh, with electric choke. Features include factory power steering, power brakes, and electric wipers. Uh, this is all painted real nice. All the finishes are smooth. You can tell it was a part, not just spray canned over. The battery's bolted down, has a disconnect switch, uh, has the generator. Everything looks proper. The horns are here, uh, new, new hinges. Uh, distributor, wires, everything just looks real nice and proper. Red headliner is new, tight as a drum, new visors, the dome light works, the mirror is new, uh, the rear shelf is new. New wiring throughout the car. I even stuck my head under the dash and the heater box is painted. The vents under there look new. All the wiring, the, the pedals, the, the um, cotter pins that hold the pedals, Everything under the dash looks new. All the metal inside, the dash is gorgeous. It's polished red uh, paint, the steering wheel's painted. The factory gauges are replaced, they're new, but like the original, the trim across the dash is new and shiny. They did put a retro stereo in there, new glove box liner. I did notice the, uh, the light inside the glove box isn't there. New uh, window cranks, the windows all roll smooth. New uh, armrests. Yeah, seats feel nice and firm. We'll fire it up here for you. Oh, that runs nice. Has the optional clock, which I don't think is working, but it does have it. That yeah, motor's smooth. The idle will drop down a little bit once it warms up. I like the little high beam indicator on the dash as a little Chevy bow tie. Oh, that, that runs like a sweetheart. These wheels are nice looking. Wheels are real personal preference. I wasn't going to spend two grand to put white walls on it. I would have asked, raised the asking price of the car accordingly. I wasn't going to do that because the next guy might put big polished torque thrust, might leave it exactly the way it is. So the car is priced very reasonably for a black two-door hardtop Bel Air. The code on the VIN is VC. That means it's a real Bel Air V8. Uh, it's a hardtop, no post here. But anyway, I think this car is priced aggressively. 
You can do what you want with the tires and wheels. All that stuff's available new. That's the easiest thing to change on a car. Visit volocars.com. Plenty of ways on there to contact the salesman. I gave you my honest impression of the car. If you have specific concerns or questions, feel free to ask. They will help you out with that. They will also make the delivery, paperwork, uh, financing all real easy for you. Visit volocars.com uh, before someone beats you to this one. If you just enjoy watching the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on that bell icon, and you will be the first to see the next one posted. Thanks for watching.